Edwin, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, Emma. How are you today? I'm doing excellent. How about you, Emma? Very good. Okay, good, good. And you, Reina, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm excellent, excellent. Okay. Good. Edwin, and you, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, Edwin. Good evening. Very good. good. Fine, teacher, I'm fine. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, Reina, you look tired. Uh, a little tired. <laughs> yes, it's late, huh? It's a late day. But it's okay. The sacrifice is no problem. Then you know English. Pero aquí estamos, teacher. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh huh. Sometimes it's difficult, but yeah, it's okay. okay. So the first thing we want to do is before we get started, before we take a look at everything, is we want to talk with our partners. So with our partners, we're going to discuss a little bit about our weekend, all right? You're going to ask your partners what they did, where did they go, who did they go with, things like this, okay? Okay, teacher. So, all right, so remember, if you make questions in the past, the past tense is did, where did you go? Who did you go with? What did you do? Okay, things like that.
Rene. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your weekend? <laughs> hey, I am sick. Ah, no. What happened, <laughs> Rene? Yes. COVID. <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> But but uh, but uh, I was a uh, flu. Mm, I have by, I, by no by no COVID. Okay. Ah, it's a problem then with with a lot, huh? Yes. Okay. But you are taking medicine, Rene. Yes, I take medicine. Okay. Okay. Good. All right, so we had a moment to catch up. Everybody had asked their partner the questions. Are we okay? Yes. Yes, sure. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. So before we continue, I want to make sure that it's okay, the exam was okay. Did anybody have any problems or questions about the exam? Yes. No, for the moment, teacher. No, for and uh, did you did everybody complete the exam? Yes, I did. Yes, excellent, okay. excellent. Yes, teacher. Yes, sir. Okay, good, good, Rene. Okay. Yes, teacher. Good, Rosa. Okay. Okay, good. That's the important. The important is that we are advancing with the exam. In case there are any questions, that then I could help you with. But if you completed. Excellent. Remember, in the exam is necessary 80 or more, the same for all the other activities. It's necessary to have 80 or more. Okay. So today we're gonna start, we're gonna begin our unit four. And unit four is learning vocabulary about geography. Share the screen. There we go. Okay. So here we have vocabulary related to geography. We're going to see a little bit of vocabulary and then I'll explain what those words are, okay? Welcome to one more section. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach. Desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Okay. So we have a lot of vocabulary related to geography. Hills, there. island. To make sure that we can lake, see it. River, rhino, waterfall. Maybe that's not such a good one. Let me try here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so one more time, the letter A, okay. Desert, not dessert. Desert. Desert. Mm -hmm. Desert. Desert. Okay. Yes. Then we have forest. 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 Mm -hmm. forest. 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 Yeah. Roxana, you had a question? Forest. Yes, teacher. Um, is island or island? No, the pronunciation is island. Island. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Then we have hill. 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 Good. Hill. hill. Next, we have island. 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 Mm -hmm. Island. Good. Island. Then we have lake. 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 Right. Mountains. 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 
Mountain. Sir. Ocean. 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 Mm -hmm. Ocean. River. 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 Good. Valley. 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 Volcano. 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 Good. And the last one is waterfall. Water. Okay. Are there any words that you don't know? Any of those words you don't know? Yeah. Uh -huh, Aida? I, I, I don't know the meaning of hill. Hill, okay. So hill is this picture right here. Which one? Where the arrow is, right here. This is the hill. More or less, uh huh. A little bit smaller, but yes. Waterfall. Okay. This is the waterfall. Right here. This is the waterfall. Waterfall. Yeah. Valley. Valley. Valley is like in in San Vicente. Is the space between the two mountains. This is the valley. Planicie. Una. ¿Cómo se llama? Donde hay una volada plana entre varias montañas. Planicie. No, pero no es una plana, no es una planicie. No. Ya no. Is the valley. But Llano no es baile, es, es no, igual por baile. Un valle. Es a valle. Yes, that's, valle. That's right, that's right. Bye. Okay. Okay. I have a question, teacher. Yes. What is the difference for a mountain? And hill. The mountain is like um, uh, San Salvador Volcano or Santa Ana. This is the mountain. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. the hill is small, maybe like um, uh, Paseo General Escalona. This is a hill. Ah, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the difference for uh, ocean and beach is for the arena. Y ocean is a mar adentro. That's right. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, the other words are okay then? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. So let's take a look. Now that we have some vocabulary, why do we need the vocabulary? Well, let's see why. Well, we're going to learn about geography and how to compare with adjectives. Okay. Remember when we compare, we have regular and irregular. For example, regular, ER, uh, something like uh, bigger, smarter, smaller is ER. And then we also have more. More are for the words that are big, the ones that are two syllables or more. But we're going to watch a small video and get an idea. Hi guys, in the conversation we're about to listen to, the speakers use comparative adjectives. Do you remember how to compare? Stay around for the explanation. It is important to practice and understand the conversation. Listen and practice. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure, first question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know, Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. 
I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. So what really is the idea? Oh, I love geography. Ask the idea is how to use comparison, right? So when we can compare things, we use ER or more, okay? So we can see that she says Canada is larger, okay? We use larger than to continue the explanation or to continue explaining what it is that we're talking about. So remember, whenever we use more, it's two syllables in order to describe it. Okay, so let's take a look at El Salvador. Which volcano is bigger? Or Roxana, do you have another question? Not sure. Okay. okay. So which question, or, or sorry, which volcano is bigger? The San Salvador volcano? Sorry. Or Santa Ana volcano? Santa Ana volcano. Okay. So when we make the comparison, we say Santa Ana's, remember it's always possessive in English. Is in this case taller than San Salvador's volcano. Okay. in the chat for you. Notice that I use ER because the word is small. If the word is big, I need to use the word more, okay? So San Salvador or Santa Ana's volcano is, okay, taller, bigger, higher, okay? If I don't use the word that like taller, if I use a big word, uh, for example, Santana's volcano is more beautiful than San Salvador's volcano. Okay. San San Santana's volcano is more interesting than San Salvador's volcano. You can change for more or ER. The more is only for the activities that are sorry, for only for the words that are two syllables or higher. Any questions in this moment? No teacher. No teacher. Okay. No teacher. teacher. Okay. Yes. Uh, my difficulty is um, uh, what is the difference between um, highest in higher. Highest is for three things, and higher is for two things, Roxana. So comparisons are for two things, superlative are for three things. Highest. Correct. Uh, thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay. So what are we going to do? Okay, so let's put in the chat. Everybody write one example in the chat. Let's make sure that you are understanding correctly. Put one example in the chat, let's see. Go ahead, put in the chat, don't be scared, it's okay. Remember, ER is for small words, ES 
team, I'm oh, sorry, and more is for big words. <laughs> Anybody need some help? I don't see everybody. We want to put everyone, everyone, one example in the chat. One example. Don't be scared. It's okay. Okay, now we have several, several people. Good, good. Now we get many people's answers. All right. Let's read them together. Let's take a look. Okay. So, all right. Gabi is taller than Marcos. Okay. Right, El Salvador is smaller than Guatemala. Okay, San Juan Pico is smaller than Quesaltepec. Good. Mm -hmm. My house is bigger than yours. This is for uh, Rosa. Remember, your with S. Yours. My house is bigger than yours with S. Honduras is bigger than El Salvador. Okay, Osmel. Remember, El Salvador. Right. We write it with capital letters. Okay, let's see. The Tunco Beach. Wait, I lost where we were. El Tunco Beach, Metro Centro, is more crowded than Plaza Mundo. Good. All right. Lake Ilopango is a good place to rest and eat delicious pesca. Ah, pesca. Okay. And more beautiful than you. Okay, Aida, but remember how to write beautiful. Right? How to write beautiful. Okay. Um, El Tunco Beach is bigger than San Diego. El Tunco is pretty than Sata. That is not correct, Emma. Remember, Emma, we need to compare. So when we compare, we use ER or more. So put the sentence again, Emma. Put the sentence again it's, and see if you can correct it. Okay. Lampa River is more bigger than Goscorn River. No, Monica, is not correct because you cannot use two or you use more or you use ER, but it's not correct to use more and ER. So you have to make the decision. Monica, which is the correct? Lempa River is more big than uh, Goscoran River or Lempa River is bigger than Goscoran River. Okay. Uh, uh, repeat, please, teacher. Yes, you can only have one form for comparative is more or ER. So which is the correct form? Lempa River is more big than or Lempa River is bigger than? Then, ah, okay, okay. Okay, Monica, which one is the correct one? Uh, uh... The in I write or I say you can say Monica, you can say oh, okay. The Lempa River is um is more is are more bigger than what Koran River. No, that's the mistake that you have in this moment. It's not mm -hmm. correct, okay. You cannot mix more and you cannot mix ER. Is one or the other? Ah, and this, and this is, is Alempa River is more bigger than the West Coran River. It, seguir diciendo lo mismo. Mm -hmm. ah, entonces no entiendo. Bigger than. Entonces, mm -hmm. uh, quito el more. Uh -huh. Sería Alempa River is than. Uh, it's bigger than West Coran River. Correct. Se escucha un poquito extraño. Lo escucho un poco extraño. No sé si es porque no estoy acostumbrado. 
Maybe, maybe, but you cannot, no puede ser más grande, because bigger is más grande. The ER is el más. Mm -hmm. So, Lampard. Ah. Mm -hmm. Sería like a, uh, más mejor. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Ah, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. 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 Thank you. All right, then. Edwin, was this correct? It's Salvador's volcano is taller than his Alpes. My daughter is more beautiful than good Rosa. Wearing pants is better than wearing skirts. Canada is bigger than the USA. Guatepeque is more. Ed Emma is not correct. Emma, Guatepeque is no more cold because lo mismo que el de Monica. Teacher, ¿cuál es? Emma Aguilar. Ah, okay. Soy yo. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, Emma Aguilar. Ah, la otra Emma acá. Ah, no soy yo. Ok. <laughs> no, uh, entré tarde, pero no, no, no entiendo cuál es el error en sí. Eh, eh, que el, cuando usas more, está bien la idea. Puedes usar more in the adjective, but when the adjective is a small adjective, o sea, cuando la palabra es pequeña, mm -hmm. so agregas er, no le agregas more. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So the correct, what is the correct, Emma? Uh, go to, go to is uh, teacher sería colder. Correct. Cojutepeque is colder than. Ah, okay, no more. No more. Uh -huh, no more. Okay. Teacher, entonces. Uh -huh. Emma? Yo no sé. Another Emma. Okay. Um, uh -huh. Yo puse, por ejemplo, Tunco Beach is more hot than Minnesota Beach. Entonces, en el hot sería hotter. Correct. Tunco Beach is hotter than Misata Beach. ¿Y en qué momento usaría, digamos, en palabras cortas? O sea, ¿hasta qué límite de palabras tengo para poner el, el...? Dos sílabas. Ok. Son dos sílabas o más, tenés que usar more. Thank you. You're welcome. Es el truco para todos. Si son dos sílabas o más, van a poner more. Si es menos de dos sílabas, van a poner er. Teacher, San Miguel is more far than Santa Ana, Dap San Salvador. No, no more far, porque far solo es una sílaba, far, no de far. Entonces, San Miguel is further than San Salvador or, or eh, Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So remember, we have. Teacher. Yes. I see a mistake in the sentence of the the Emma sentence because okay. I know when um, when the adjective, for example, in hot, double the consonant t. Is correct. You double the t, and it's no more hot. It's double the consonant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hotter. So it's going to be hotter. Russia is bigger than the United States. Tuco Beach is hotter than Misata. Correct. Cerro Verde's mountain is better than Lake Guatepeque. Good. San Miguel is more far. No, that one not in it. Remember, San Miguel is far than Santa Ana. Teacher. Yes. Um, uh, you can write uh, further, please. Write the what, the Neda? The, the, el más lejos, sí, further, but it's a writing. Uh, yes, because it's irregular. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, no problem, I put in the chat. Yes. Okay. There you go. Okay. So now, okay. Now we're going to watch a little. Yes. Yes, sir. 
Teacher. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, the river Lempa is the most longer, longer, longer than Sucio y Guascoran. Not correct. When you the most longer? No, no? not correct. Is no. only the the Lempa River is longer, no most. No, no, no more. The the most longer. No, not correct. No more. The the most. Si, the most. Si, Aida, is not correct. Sería longest. Correct, longest. But what is in superlative, teacher? Hmm? Longest is in superlative. Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. Because Aida has three rivers. Because Aida has Lempa, Susia, and the other, the other river she said. Teacher, ¿en qué momento agregaría el ES? El EST. Cuando son tres o más. O sea, cuando son dos o menos de dos sílabas es el ER. Y cuando son más es el EST. Sí, más o menos. Eh, ya te voy a explicar. Bye. Entonces, si yo digo Emma is pretty, solo es una Emma y solo es pretty. Exacto. Si yo digo Emma is prettier than Edwin, son dos, Emma y Edwin. Y si yo digo Emma is the prettiest, then estoy hablando de Emma y toda la clase, por ejemplo. Serían tres o más. Dicho. Yes, Teacher, lo, podía yes. Lo, podría lo podría escribir. Uh -huh. and, I, and I know the, the rules and say um, the positive is in, in the adjective in positive and after the adjective in comparative and after the, the superlative. And the Correct. superlative not compare with others. The superlative is for three or more. Mm, I have dubs with this um, because I, I know that com the superlative, uh, for example, uh, I am a teacher, the language teacher. Yes. And I say in Spanish, the, the superlative no, uh, como no admite ya comparación, ya, ya en el superlativo ya no se compara con nada. Y es the most, for example, in the song, the most beautiful girl in the world, la chica más bella del mundo, ella no compara con nadie, in the superlative. Uh -huh. Pero en comparación tiene que ser, tiene que ser, superlative tiene que ser tres cosas o más. Puede por ejemplo, al salón de clases. Puede ser limitado al país o al cuarto. No tiene que ser del mundo. Por eso dice que tiene que haber tres cosas o más contra el que se está comparando. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now, let's look at when we use the superlative para que les quede claro cuando usamos el EST, ya que estamos viendo el more y el most. Ok. Let's look a little bit at the video here. Hello and welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada? Or China. Canada is larger than China. Fíjense allí. Estamos hablando comparatives, superlatives. Es la pregunta que están haciendo. Si estamos hablando de una cosa, es esta, adjectives. Si estamos hablando de dos cosas, es comparatives. Si estamos hablando de tres cosas o más, es superlative. Okay. Cuando usamos una cosa, long, dry, big. Pero si estamos hablando de dos, ya vamos con ER, lo que acabamos de ver, ER o MORE. ¿Cuándo sabemos cuándo usar ER o MORE? Si la palabra es de una sílaba 
er, si las palabras de dos sílabas o más, el more. Y superlative lo vamos a usar cuando nos estamos refiriendo a tres cosas o más. Entonces, por ejemplo, nos estamos refiriendo al mundo, nos estamos refiriendo a toda la clase, a todo el país, y ahí sabemos que son tres cosas o más. Entonces, vamos a usar el superlative. Which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Y si se fijan, aquí estoy diciendo largest, pero lo estoy limitando a tres ciudades. No estoy diciendo todas las ciudades del mundo. ¿Por qué? Pero para poder usar ESG, tiene que ser por lo menos tres o más. Si yo solo hubiera dicho, which city has the largest population? Ok, puede ser de todo el mundo, pero yo lo puedo limitar solo a lo que yo quiero. Pero si, lo, si uso EST, tengo que dar por lo menos tres o más. Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective. Comparative. Superlative. Long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good. Better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. Okay. Voy a My house is made ahí está la object. Let's okay. We use then after the comparative form of the adjective. O sea que solo es... Cuando estamos hablando de dos colas, dos cosas, no puedo usarlo si estamos hablando de tres o más. Entonces yo solo puedo decir John is taller than Mary. No puedo decir John is tallest than Mary and John, or tallest than Mary and Andrea. Tienen que ser solo de dos. Okay. A Ferrari is more expensive than a Fiat. Solo estoy hablando de dos. Lo que les mencioné, si la palabra es corta, o sea, una sílaba, solo le agregamos ER. Sí, la palabra eh, es, termina, solo tiene una vocal y consonante, entonces le ponemos doble. Por ejemplo, lo que vimos hoy en el chat de hot. Hot tiene consonante, vocal, consonante, y es toda la palabra. ¿Cuál significa que tenemos que ponerle doble letra, doble T y agregar ER? Ok, hotter. Si termina con Y, cambiamos la Y. Y ponemos I-E-R. Si el adjetivo, por ejemplo, pretty. Pretty termina con Y. Entonces le cambio para I-E-R. Prettier. Y lo que mencionamos. Si es dos sílabas o más que no vaya con Y y que, que no esté con Y, entonces le agregamos more. Y vimos better y worse, que son irregulares. Y hoy, por el ejemplo de alguien, no me acuerdo quién, también vimos que far es irregular y la palabra es further. Okay. Not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? 
Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Follow this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus the plus super. Lo que está diciendo es lo mismo, las mismas reglas que aplican para ER aplican para EST. Así que si la palabra es pequeña o corta, le ponemos EST. Si la palabra es larga, le ponemos the most. Y lo mismo, si es consonante, vocal consonante, por ejemplo, aquí tenemos dos de big y hot, tenemos que poner doble G o doble T. Superlative adjective plus noun or object. Study the chart. Just as comparative adjectives in superlative form, we also have short, long, and irregular adjectives, which you need to take into account when using them. Examples, he is the tallest of his family. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. Canada is the biggest country in North America. Can you write one sentence using good in its comparative form? Now write another sentence using good in its superlative form. Write both sentences in our discussion box. Okay. So what is it that she is saying? Is for example, comparative, okay? So if I have pizza, is good. This is one sentence, only one thing. If I say, remember, good is irregular. So pizza is better than hamburgers. And I compare two things, the pizza and the hamburgers. But if I have three, then I put the superlative pizza. The best is the best. Fast food, for example. Fast food. No sé si eso les ayuda un poco, que quede un poco más claro. Yes, teacher. Teacher. Yes. Thank you teacher. for the explanation, yes, sure. Thank you. Yes. This is used in description. Say again, Emma. Si eso solo solo se de, eh, usa para describir. Yes, Emma. Yes, only used for description. Okay. Thank you. So, for example, I put. Uh, Emma's hair is long. Only Emma, only describe Emma's hair. Okay, if I say uh, Emma's hair is longer yeah. than mine. Okay, mío, only two, Emma and me, two things. Okay, and then if you have three, Emma's hair, or for the class, Emma's hair is the longest. Ay, bueno, espérame. And then you have the three. So remember, one adjective, two comparatives, and three superlatives. Teacher. Gracias. Yes, Aida. I want to know if I, if, I, if I understood when when the word is shoulder, we add another letter in ER. No. For example, bigger and bigger, but we add other G. Only if the word is consonant, vowel consonant, then you add letter. Uh, vowel consonant, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, Aida. Any other questions? No, it's no, just okay. Now I think more the, the most important is, is really the practice because the practice is where we, we see if we understand, right? That's where we 
we get the ideas from. Okay. So what we're going to do in this moment is we are going to practice. With your partners, we are going to complete 4.6. It gives us 10 different sentences. Let me show you the page. So 4.6 in the platform, 4.6. And we practice exactly this. We use adjectives or superlatives, okay? How do we know the difference? Well, here in the instructions, we see number one through five. Question number one through five is going to be comparatives. Questions number six through superlatives. So one, two, three, four, five, comparative. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, superlatives. It's okay what to do with our partners? Yes. I think so. Yes, yes teacher. All right, let's, let's try it. Let's see. Not too much time, only a few minutes with our partners to try to complete. Okay. Shit. Very fast, right? Don't worry, don't worry. It was a mistake. I put the room. Yes. <laughs> It was <laughs> very fast. Very fast. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, don't worry, don't worry. It was only a small mistake. I put the rooms again. I put the rooms again. Sorry. Hi, in this class, we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise three again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Did you get it? That's right. They're talking about distance and measurements using the question word how.
Okay, let's try it together to make sure that everybody has the correct answers, okay? Remember, the first part is comparative, the second part is superlative. So let's try different people. Who's number one? Muller. Muller. Okay, number two? Fire. 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 Three? More crowded. More crowded. More crowded. More teacher, Larger. Yes, yes, yes. Antes, ¿En qué momento yo utilizaría el more? Excelente. Si si no, no si no okay. Cuando tenga más de dos sílabas. la descripción. Sí. The ¿Y cómo vamos a saber si tiene dos o más sílabas? De sílabas, despacio, y ahí donde va diciendo cada sonido, esas son las sílabas. Por ejemplo, en, la, en el caso de crowded, de, la palabra normal la decimos crowded, pero si la decimos despacio, decimos crowded. Ah, entonces ya tiene dos. Y como tiene dos, ya tiene que ir con more. Ok, thank you. You're welcome, Emma. Acuérdense que es la palabra, no las letras. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos cinco yes. letras, pero no decimos small, ¿verdad? Solo decimos small, aunque lo digamos despacio. Ah, entonces solo lleva ER. Number four, what's number four? Larger. 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 Number five. More famous. More famous. Good. Okay. Now it's superlative. Remember, now it's superlative. The highest. 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 The highest. The highest. Siempre, siempre tiene, tiene, siempre tiene la palabra da. Antes da y después lo que sea. The highest. Number seven. The longest. The longest. The longest. The longest. the longest. Number eight. The most the expensive. The most. The most. Hablando de tres. Right? The most expensive. Teacher, entonces, perdón la interrupción. No, 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 no. Dale, okay. dale. Para eso um, estamos. Y el more es para más de dos sílabas. Igual o solo para most. dos sílabas. Dos o más sílabas. Dos. Y el most. Lo mismo. Pero cuando. Ah, por tres, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí. Exacto. Cuando estamos comparando Thank tres you. cosas, you welcome. Uh -huh. Ok. What about number nine? The deepest. The deepest. The deepest. Okay. And number ten? The, the driest. driest. The driest. ¿Cómo vamos a escribir driest? ¿Verdad? Porque termina en Y, tenemos que cambiarlo y poner I, E, S, T. Yes. Rosa, you have a question? No question. Ah, ok, ok. ¿Alguien tenía alguna duda? The number five, teacher. The number five. In the in the four, large large is two syllables. Large, uh, no, two syllables. It's one syllable. Large, large. No, ajá, porque no decimos la large, solo decimos large. Ah, okay. Uh mm -hmm. It's one syllable. One, one syllable. Okay. Dos, do, dos vocales, pero one syllable. Okay. Ajá. Entonces, es el, el, como le mencionaba a la, a la otra compañera, el truco es decir despacio. Y si hay una pausa, ah, entonces sabe que es dos. Pero si lo decís despacio y todavía lo decís como de una forma, de una sola palabra, Large. sabe que. Ajá, exacto. Sabe que solo tiene que ser con ER. Large. Okay. I, I have a mistake in, in number uh, seven. 
Number seven. ¿Pusiste lo mismo que aquí? No, no, number no. eight. Number no, eight. Number eight. ¿Pusiste yes, la palabra the, the, most, the more expensive. Ah, es porque no es comparativo, es superlativo. Porque si miramos bien, Tokio, uno. Moscow, dos. Hong Kong, tres. Entonces, como son mm -hmm. tres, tiene que ser the most. No, the more. Most. No, the, more solo I, va a I, ser I, para I, dos. Solo para dos. Okay. The more. Uh -huh. More, okay, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Teacher. Yes. Eh, en A, en la ocho, the yes. most expensive. Uh -huh. Expensive. Son tres. Exacto. Entonces, por ser tres, le pongo the most. El, el hecho de ser dos, automáticamente, ya, ya sabe que tiene que ser more or most. La razón que elegimos most y no more es porque estamos comparando o estamos hablando de tres cosas. Y cuando son tres cosas o más, tiene que ir most, no more. Ok. Es el ruler. Es el rule. Es el rule. So, oh. el, el adjetivo de una cosa, el comparativo de dos cosas y el superlativo de tres cosas o más. Any other questions? No, no teacher, thank you. No, teacher. No. You sure? Teacher. Yes, Eneida. In, in when it's a, a classroom object, you say ruler. When, when you use in the grammar, it's rule. Correct, Eneida. The okay. classroom object, with R, ruler, and in here is rule, the rule. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, entonces vamos a ver si podemos comparar aquí en la clase. Entonces, por ejemplo, yo voy a comparar René y Aida, okay? So, René is Older than Aida. René is older than. ¿Por qué older? Porque solo estoy hablando de dos personas. Ahora, ¿qué, qué pasa si yo hablo de René, Aida y Reina? ¿Cómo sería la oración, Aida? Um, I am not older. Casi. Acordate que lo que solo podemos usar most cuando la, el adjetivo es normal. Si usamos older or oldest, no vamos a usar more or most. O sea, ya estamos diciendo más. No uh -huh. tenemos que combinar las dos. Sure. I can say that sentence. Ok, okay Eneida. Try, try Eneida. For example... Um, you compare uh, Aida, René, and I, I say, Eneida is the, the oldest in the class? Ah, correct. The oldest. Okay. No most, porque ya estamos usando EST y no podemos, compar con, no podemos juntar dos, dos cosas, dos comparativos o dos superlativos. Ok. Ok. Teacher. Ya yes, Emma. Sería, por ejemplo, uh, my sister is tall in adjectives. Okay, correct. My sister is taller, tall, ¿cómo sería? Taller. Taller. Mm -hmm. Taller than me. Correct. Is a, a, a superlative is a, my sister is, no, my sister is Sería the tallest in the family. Tall. Good. Good man. Good. My sister is tallest than that, my that family. Tallest, that yeah. tallest. The tallest. The tallest. My family. My Emma. Uh -huh. Emma, decir la oración una vez más. My sister is the uh, tallest than my family. No. The tallest. 
tallest. The tallest in my family. Y te lo voy a escribir para que mire la diferencia de lo que está diciendo. Ok. Ahora, ¿por qué no podemos usar Dan? ¿Alguien le puede explicar por qué no podemos usar Dan en esta oración? ¿Qué no hay, Eso es imperativo. Ah, exactly. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. It's a, it's, you can use a Dan only in comparative form. Correct. Dan only in comparative. O sea, que solo lo podemos usar cuando estamos comparando dos cosas. Uh -huh. El Dan lo estamos usando como la palabra que. Que uh -huh. Aida es más alta que René. Ok. Ok, entonces, uh -huh. no, esa es una cosa. Uh -huh. Es que quiero saber si, si lo entendí. Ok. Al momento de usar the most y more, uh -huh. el more se utiliza cuando eh, son dos sílabas. No. Cuando son dos. Dos sílabas. Ok. Y, lo, y lo, el... mismo, lo mismo con most. Si son dos sílabas, lo mismo. Pero la diferencia del most. Es que estamos hablando de tres cosas. De tres cosas. Que estoy tratando de que mi cerebro comprenda la situación. Por ejemplo, okay. el most es que estoy describiendo tres cosas. Okay. Es superlativo. Y el, 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 el verbo que estoy utilizando tiene más de dos sílabas. Ok, digamos que sí. Pero no dos hay... o más de dos sílabas. Pero sí, exacto. El adjetivo tiene más, exacto. Dos o más. Y el more uh -huh. son dos sílabas. Correcto. Y es en comparación de dos cosas. Correcto. Okay, I see. Yeah, you. Gracias. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hey, hey. All right. All right. <coughs> Vlad, eh, espero que todos ya finalizaron el examen. Yo sé, ahí me mandaron mensaje que alguno que otro no lo finalizó. El que no, vayan, a, vayan avanzando, vayan terminándolo. Ya, como ven, ya vamos en la unidad 4. Rapidito va a pasar el tiempo cuando vengan a sentir. Ya, la, ya el curso ya se va a ir terminando. Así que vamos a, dándole. La, ¿Ok? Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Good night. Good night. Thank you for all, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Goodbye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night.